Wakipiongeza. <laughs> Good morning guys. Good morning. And we have two already. Great. Welcome. So grab your mat, maybe also grab a belt or something that you can help with the stretching. A uh, firm resistant band is also nice. I just put here both, so. For my leg, I can use the bigger one. But thanks for the blue. <laughs> we can share whichever is needed. Okay, so slowly. If you guys ready, we will start. So get ready, please. Get your mat, water, towel, whatever you need. <clears throat> so welcome again, guys. Today we're gonna do a nice class targeting our back muscles. So Please make sure if you have any lower back injury or recent operations, anything, problems with your lower back, this is not the class for you, unfortunately. No. You can still follow. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> you can still follow, but make sure it's on your own responsibility. And I will try to offer different variations. I will usually start with the more difficult one. So, you guys, whoever can do it, can proceed and just keep doing the repetitions, keep doing the movements, and then after a couple seconds, I'll show an easier version. So if you see that it's too difficult for you, just wait for a couple seconds, I'll show an easier version. And again, we're gonna do a nice and thorough warm up for our core and lower back again, because this is the area that we're gonna target today. So again, make sure if you have any injuries, please, do not follow this class because this can be even more harmful. And whenever you have some pain or any discomfort, especially in your lower back, just stop doing it. Go for the easier version or go for the versions that I'll, sh I'll, I'll show. So first, just lay down on your mat, on your back, please. Take a comfortable position. Like in the Shavasana, you can use a towel or blanket whatever under your face under your head open your legs and arms or whatever is comfortable for you on your back at the moment and just try to close your eyes for a second try to bring your attention first to your room where you're at You can do even a couple deep breaths, deeply inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. You can try to fill out first your stomach, then your chest, then your face, and then exhale. And slowly move your attention to your body. You can even scan through your body, starting from your toes, from the bottom, going up towards your head, your face. Just making sure that your whole body is relaxed and ready for the practice. Very slowly, if you're ready. Now, if you know how to do the Ujjayi breath, please start doing that. Otherwise, try to keep your mouth closed, only breathing through the nose throughout the whole session. And again, try to breathe deeply down first to the stomach, then the chest, then your face, and exhale the same way using only the nose. Try to keep your mouth closed throughout the whole session, breathing only through the nose. And now is also the time, if you would like to, it's completely up to you, to set an intention 
for today's class. A small goal, maybe. Or you can think about why are you doing this practice this morning. If you feel that you're ready, you can still keep your eyes closed. We're going to start with the warm-up, then do a couple of sun saltation A and B, as we know both of them now. And then go to the ground and work on our back, especially the lower back. So again, whenever you're ready with closed eyes, We can stop at the middle. Now open both arms pointing to the side. We're going to do the easier version of the windshield cleaner. Both knees together, just moving sideways, start easy, and then increase the range of motion as it feels good in your hip. Eventually, maybe you can even touch them. <laughs> Don't scare the other now with closed eyes, especially. And now again, we can stop at the middle, both hands on the knees. You can round your back and start using the momentum of your leg and your whole body to roll up and down. Again, this should be very easy and smooth. And if you like a bit harder version, just let the knees go so you have to hold your body from your core. This will increase the amount of work that you have to do. And slowly we can end up in a sitting position. Straight back. For that to help, you can even hold your knees, do a couple of head circles. Exhale, circling down. Inhale, circling the head up. Good job. Again, you can keep your eyes closed or open, however it feels best. Change directions as well. Go we'll couple one way, couple to the other way. And always make sure your breath is leading your movement. So whenever I give you the instruction with the next inhale, lift up the arm, for example, wait always until your inhale comes. You can do some shoulder curls backwards as well. Inhale, circling up, exhale down. You can also change that direction again. We can stop with the circles. Inhale at the middle, exhale, twisting to your left. You can use both arms on your knees. Inhale back to the middle, exhale to the other side. Again, keep your back straight, so bend the knees as much as you need to. Perfect. Now let's place both hands next to your hip. Open a bit of space between your legs. Place both feet on the floor. And again, reverse tabletop. Inhale, push the hip up as much as you feel like, so you don't have to go super high. And then just shift the body weight back and forth, warming up the forearms, the wrists. Again, harder, especially for the shoulders, if you keep your hip high up here, if you keep it a bit lower, it's a bit easier. So just again, whatever feels best to you, but make sure you still have a good warm up effect in your shoulder and your forearm. Exhale, when you slide forward deeper into the pose. And we can sit back, round your back again. Point the arms forward, open the chest, hold this for five. And eventually you can even round your back and do a couple of rolls in this position. Now your core has to work, you'll feel the difference. If it's too easy, you can extend your knees as further as you can, as you feel comfortable with. Yeah. 
and a long deep breathing. And with the next one, you can bend your knees and end up in the deep spot at the end of your mat. So now, again, just find a comfortable position on the ground. You can move your knees back in front. Roll on your feet, on your heels, on your toes. You can even place your arms between your knees. You can even go on one side, open the knee to the other, go to the other side. Warming up the hip, opening the hip. From here, place both hands at the end of the mat, step back to high plank and just hold the high plank here, squeezing the glutes. Active glutes, you can shift the body weight back and forth, again, just whatever move feels best for you. Stretching a bit, your calf. Slowly with the next exhale, step a bit forward, open a bit the legs, go to downward facing dog and pedal the heels a bit. And exhale, knees on the floor, lay down to your chest as well. Inhale, coming up with the upper body, forearms on the floor first. Roll the shoulder blades down. You can use also eventually your palms. You can even move up and down, make sure you squeeze the glutes. Inhale, when you go up, exhale down. It's also a good warm up for your upper arm. Up to the ceiling, one or two breath here. Exhale down. Stepping back to high plank with the next inhale, roll to the left, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, then the next inhale, right knee up, step close to the front of the mat. And do again a couple bouncing here. We can place the left knee down, exhale, shifting the body weight back, inhale forward. And whenever you're ready, inhale, knee up, exhale, and with the next inhale, right arm reaches up to the ceiling. Exhale down. You can still do a couple bouncing or whenever you're ready. Stepping back to high plank again, up to downward facing dog. A couple more pedals. And exhale, knees on the floor. Now make sure you warm up the wrist. You can switch positions, pointing the Fingers outwards, shifting your upper body weight side to side. Then you can try to point your fingers towards your knees, shifting the body weight back and forth. And eventually you can even use the top of your palm on the floor, make sure you don't put too much weight on it at this position. And slowly we can go to table, top a couple of cat and cow. Inhale when your head up, chest down. Exhale when your head down, back up. The jaw really try to push the floor away. Nice, welcome guys. So we're doing just a warm up now. Again, make sure if you have any lower back injuries, recent operations, this is not the class for you. Otherwise, try to follow the instructions and go for the easy one, maybe if it's too hard, whatever we do, if you have any discomfort or pain. 
Slowly tuck the toes and with the next exhale, push the hip up high to the ceiling. You can still do a couple pedals here. Slowly bend the knee slightly and start walking with your arms towards your legs. You can even hang here for a little bit. And with your next inhale, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae coming up. And let's turn to the front of the mat now. We're going to go for a couple of sun salutation A first, then B just to make sure we finish up the warm-up. So legs together, sun salutation A first. Slowly inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up, halfway. Exhale, fold forward and step back to high plank. You can do one or two breaths here now. Squeezing the glutes, pushing the floor away. And whenever you're ready with the next exhale, shifting the body weight forward, bend the elbows, close shoulder blades. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog for five breaths. And still do a couple of pedals. Chest towards the floor, open fingers, open legs. Try to pull the shoulder blades down. Don't try to touch your ears with your shoulders. And with your next inhale, step forward, head up, chest up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, in front of the chest. One more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up, halfway. Exhale, step back to high plank and lower to chaturanga with the same exhale. Inhale, head up, chest up. And exhale, downward facing dog for five. And with the next inhale, step or jump forward, head up, chest up, halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, in front of the chest. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up, halfway. Exhale, step or jump back to high plank and lower to chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up, and exhale. Downward facing dog for five. Good job, guys. Long deep breathing. Two more. I hope you started to sweat a little bit. And with your next inhale, step or jump forward. Head up, chest up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, in front of the chest. Now, sun salutation B. So it's starting with the chair pose. With the next inhale, arms up, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up halfway. Exhale, step back to high plank and chaturanga already. Inhale, head up, chest up. Exhale, downward facing dog for five. Chest towards the floor. Focus point is under your head on the floor. Whenever you're ready, warrior one on the right side. So inhale, right leg steps forward. Head up, chest up, arms pointing up. Belly button in, right hip backwards. Left hip pushes forward for two. The next exhale, arm down, stepping back to high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up. And exhale, downward facing dog for two breaths. And with 
with the next inhale, left leg steps forward, warrior one, back leg 45 degrees, both arms up, belly button in, right hip forward, left hip backwards, the next exhale, down to high plank and lower to chaturanga, inhale, head up, chest up, and exhale, downward facing up for two, And with your next inhale, step or jump forward, both legs head up, chest up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, in front of the chest. Next one. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up. Exhale, step or jump back to high plank, head lower to chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up. And exhale, downward facing up for two. And with the next inhale, right leg steps forward, warrior one, belly button in. Two breath here. Exhale, fold forward, step back and lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up. And exhale, downward facing dog. For two. Then the next inhale, left leg steps forward, warrior one again. Two breath here. And with the next exhale, fold forward, step back, another chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up. And exhale, downward dog for two. And with the next inhale, step or jump forward, head up, chest up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale in front of your chest. And slow your breath, calm your breath for a second. You can take some water, towel. Now we're going to go down, start working on our lower back. So, first inhale, arm up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, go up to chair pose. And exhale, arms next to your body. Do to deep squat, round your back and just simply roll back on your back. First movement, what we're gonna combine is a hollow back with the hip elevation. So what we will do, easiest one, if you keep your knees and elbows bent, just do a roll and come up Heels on the floor, try to lift up your hip as high as you can. Harder, of course, if you keep your legs and arm extended, coming up, palm next to the hip, and then try to touch the knees with your nose, okay? It's easier if you bend your knees, keep your knees and elbows bent, just come up here. And the more you extend it, the harder it will be to come high up. Ten repetitions, please. Count for yourself. Make sure you follow your breath. Always inhale when you go up, exhale when you go down. And it makes it even harder as Barbie did just now to hold it up here for a moment. <laughs> you can even cheat a bit by using your fingers, not the full palm. And you can feel the burn already in your ass, right? <laughs> now, after you did the 10, let's say we have one or two left, then now only the hollow back. So don't come up, just roll back and forth. 
If you cannot control your lower back, you start arching your lower back, just bend your knees, get them closer to your body. Otherwise, extending the leg and the arm, rolling back and forth, still long, deep breathing through the nose. 10 reps. Good job, feel the burn already. And if you finish, just lay down on your back, extend your arms and legs. One or two deep breaths here. Just stretch out the front of your body. By the way, if you're getting tired at any point, you're welcome to go to child's pose. We're gonna go to that section when it's easier to get to child's pose in a second. Now bend the knees, start rolling up and down again. Slowly coming up to a sitting position or to a deep squat. Rolling up and from here, stepping back to high plank. And with the exhale, chest to the floor. Just lay down to, your to the floor. Inhale, chest up, forearms together. Stretching even more the abs we just worked on. Still long, deep breathing. The key is always here to roll the shoulders down. Try to get your shoulder blades together so your back, your glutes is always active. A bit harder if you push yourself up. You can still do a couple of repetitions. Inhale up, exhale down. Try to go down the camera, maybe it will be a better position from here. So you guys see better what's going on. Good job. Now we can also talk a little bit about the difference between upward facing dog and cobra. So cobra is basically the position when your hip is touching the ground, your thighs and your hip. And upward facing dog is when you only rely on your feet, on your toes. So your hip is in the air slightly. We can try this one as well with the inhale coming up, the upward facing dog, squeeze the glutes, try to lift up the hip just slightly from the ground, shoulder blades rolling down. Just hold it here, job. And now with the next exhale, lay down to your stomach. And start working at the upper part of the back. Try to reach forward with your arms. Triceps towards the floor, big, big thumb upwards. And inhale, head up, chest up, exhale down. 10 repetitions, we do always 10 repetitions. And then keep holding at the end for a couple of breaths. You can really feel the muscles next to your spine around the shoulder blades. And if you're ready with 10, just keep holding up for two. And exhale down. Now place both hands next to you, fingers pointing backwards. Open the palms, make sure you use the full surface of your arm. Now we're gonna rely on the upper body and the arms Try to lift up only the legs. 10 repetitions as well. Inhale, legs up. Exhale down. Really squeeze the glutes. Try to touch the ceiling with your heels. And really help with your arms as well. Try to push the floor away with the full surface of your arms, even with your shoulders. Decide to rest your head, try to use your chin a bit so you don't twist your head sideways. Make sure you have equal stress both sides of the spine. <laughs> and 
and hold it up for three. And exhale down. Now is the part, whenever you need a belt, please use the belt. Because what we do now is first try to roll towards your right, grab the right leg. And if you can, try to grab, if you have the knee flexibility, try to grab your right foot with the left arm and the foot. As you clearly see, I don't have that. So I will use the belt. <laughs> on my foot, so you can control this and don't overstretch the knee. I need only a little bit, but I still need it. So the left arm is holding the right knee. Actually, maybe I can hold it, but see, I use the belt to pull my knee closer. And now, we're gonna go to the other side. So right arm holds the left leg behind you. And from here, what we will do, Try to use the left quadriceps to try to push the right arm as high as you can. Exhale down. And exhale down. Try to keep always contraction here. You can feel really the hip working. 10 repetitions. Inhale up. Exhale down. If you feel any pain, again, just stop. Please go to child's pose. If you're ready with 10, just hold it up for three breaths, as high as you can. And exhale, down to the ground. Now you can let your leg go. Twist back towards the front. What we will do is forearm plank, touching the floor with the hip, and then try to bring the knee touching the elbow. Again, if you have any lower back, back problems, don't touch the floor. Just go to parallel and then up here. So with the exhale, we're going down, touching the floor. Inhale up, touching the elbow. If it's too easy, if you can keep your right leg always in the air and keep only the left leg on the floor. Ten repetitions as well. Either both legs, exhale, inhale, or only the left leg on the floor. Good job, keep breathing. Just a couple left. And if you're ready, just go to a high plank. You can go to child's pose again any moment. Now we're gonna roll to a right side plank. Try to point the right leg out here. Back to high plank. You can even combine this with the chaturanga, whatever feels good. 10 repetitions, you can start again whenever you're ready. If it's too hard, just stay high plank. Maybe try to reach under the other arm. So we can go, you can do chaturanga. When you come up, point to the side. Make sure your palms is under your shoulders. Exhale, inhale, point. Back, point, back, so you exhale when you go down, inhale up, exhale point, inhale back to the middle. Good job, come on, just let's do two more. And stop in high plank and just hold the high plank. Last one of the sequence. Squeeze the glutes. Push 
push the floor away. If it's too easy, lift up your left leg, right arm for two. And exhale, sit back to child's pose. It's a long deep breathing. Use a towel, some water. And we have the same just on the other side. So whenever you're ready, go to the front of your mat to a deep squat. Roll back again. And we can start doing the whole low back. Coming up, push the hip up. Roll back again, same sequence, easier if you bend your knees, harder if you keep your legs extended, and then coming up with the hip, now 10 repetitions. Long deep breathing through the nose. Keep your arms extended as well, it's even harder. And if you finish with 10, only hold all back for 10. And just keep bending the knees and the arms if it's too hard. You start arching your lower back, squeezing the abs. Good job. Nice, very good. Come on guys, we're almost there. And whenever you're ready with 10, just go to deep squat at the front. Step back to high plank and lay down to your stomach. The next inhale, coming up first to Cobra. So remember Cobra again, when your hip and thighs are on the floor. You can use the forearms or you can even push up to your palms. Hip, thighs on the floor, shoulder blades together. Looking forward, stretching the front of the core we just worked on. And we can also go maybe to upward facing dog if you like to. So hip goes above the ground, thighs as well. And exhale, laying down. Same thing one more time, extending the arms forward, thumbs up. 10 repetitions, inhale, arms going up, chest up, exhale down. Again, try to pull really the shoulder blades down. And whenever you finish, just hold it for three breaths. Slowly place your arms next to your body, palms on the floor. You can use the surface of your arms, the shoulders, to inhale, lift up the legs, exhale down. Ten repetitions. You can even use your chin on the floor again for a bit of balancing. If you finish 10, just hold it up for five. And exhale down. Now again, we can maybe use the rope or bend or whatever you have to help you. Now the left knee goes bend first and try to catch the left palm, the left 
ankle, left foot with your right hand. So again, you can use a band or whatever it's there. You don't have the mobility. And as you see clearly, this side is much worse for me. And then left arm, right leg. Try to grab the ankle or the shin so don't overstretch. And then inhale, arms pushing, legs pushing up, exhale down. 10 repetitions as well. Again, if you have any pain, discomfort, just stop. Squeezing the glutes, don't let that be inactive. And inhale, hold it for two. And exhale, down, laying down to the front again. And the same thing from the forearms, either touching the floor with your hip or just holding the plank and touching your elbow on the side. Knees on the floor makes it always easier. So inhale up, touching the elbow, exhale down. Again, if you have any lower back problems, just hold the plank here, knee to the elbow. Otherwise, you can try to touch the floor, but squeeze the glutes all the time, keep them active, keep the movement controlled, and then just drop your hip. Good job, come on, we're almost at the end. And if you finish, let's go up to high plank. So the same thing one more time, you can combine the chaturanga going to left side plank, point the toe, back, another chaturanga. You can start whenever you're ready, 10 repetitions. If it's too hard, again, place your knees on the floor or just try to reach under your armpit or skip the chaturanga if that's the hard part. Come on, we're almost there, good job. Two, two, two more. And when you're done, just hold the high plank for five. It's too easy. Right arm, left arm and right leg goes up for two. And exhale. Knees on the floor, sit back to child's pose. Long deep breathing. Good job, guys. The hard work is over. Long deep breathing. Try to calm your breath for a second. And from here, you can already try to go to headstand or shoulder stand if you lay down to your back. You can go to the front of the mat, just roll back. And go to shoulder stand, whichever inversion is best for you. Make sure if you try either, you have enough space around you in case you fall. Safety first. And stay there at least for five, 10 breaths. Either if it's headstand or shoulder stand. Or well, you can just hold even what Barbara does now, legs more or less on the floor. She's just trying. Very nice. Nice. Control the arms. Nice, nice. Good. Just make sure your head stays down. Even if you stop, just go to child's pose. Don't 
bring your head up too quickly. You can get dizzy from that. And rest in child's pose for a couple more breaths. Or if you did the shoulder stand, just fish pose. Inhale, chest up. Tuck your crown of your head under your back. And whenever you're ready, just lay down to the floor. Find a comfortable position on the ground. We get to the end, the best part. The Shavasana. So lay down to your back, finding a comfortable position. You can grab some water or grab a towel. If it's going to be too cold or you need that. And you can close your eyes slowly. Laying down on your back, palms facing to the ceiling. You can open your legs even a bit. Just make sure you're comfortable. You can put something, a pillow maybe under your neck if you need it. And just slowly close your eyes. And now, of course, you don't have to do the ujjayi breath anymore. So just breathe however it feels comfortable. Just try to breathe normally. Slowly, you can remind yourself of your intention. Again, that you set up, you may have set it up at the beginning of the class. And tap yourself on the shoulders. Good job, you did it. Slowly, again, shift your focus to the room where you're at. And slowly, try to scan through your body, starting from the bottom, going towards the top. You can start at your right leg. You can also imagine that the air that you breathe in It's a cleansing effect. It's a lot of positive energy, so you can even try to imagine that you're breathing into that certain body part that you try to relax. So if you're at your right leg now, you can imagine the air that you're breathing goes into your right leg and relaxes your right leg. So try to use the air that you breathe in sort of as a guidance to relax your body. If your right leg is relaxed, you can shift your focus to your left leg. And slowly towards your hip. Going up to your lower back core. Hopefully you feel that part after the work that we've done. And you can shift slowly up the flow of the air to your chest, to the top of your back. both arms. Slowly going up on your neck. Then you can roll your head sideways to relax your muscles, your neck, the shoulders completely. <clears throat> slowly 
slowly try to relax your face, your mouth, your nose, your chin, and finally your eyes. And as you've been using your breath, sort of as a guidance to help you relax your body, now just try to absorb it. You don't have to do anything with your breath anymore. Just try to focus on the feelings that emerge in your body when you breathe. How does it feel that the air is entering your nostrils or mouth, opening your chest or stomach? that leaves the body the same way. It's possible that you have some thoughts coming up in relation to your day. What are you going to do? What are you going to eat after this? Don't worry, that's completely natural. Just say breathing and try to shift slightly, slowly or focus back to your breath, observing your breath. If it happens again, just do it again. So be patient and kind to yourself. We're gonna focus on our breath, observe the breath for the next minute or so. And for a couple seconds now, just try to enjoy this relaxed feeling in your body. You don't have to focus on your breath anymore. Just enjoy this relaxed moment after the hard work that you've done. you're ready just keep your eyes closed you can bend your knees land both feet on the floor and roll to your right side use your right arm as a pillow and still relax on your right side Whenever you're ready before falling asleep, actually you can fall asleep if you like, so that's okay for me. You can use your left arm to push yourself up to a sitting position, still with closed eyes. And slowly find a comfortable sitting position. You can also place your arms in front of your heart. And just think about three things that you're grateful for today. Slowly rub your palms together, create some heat. Rub your face with your palms, and you can massage slowly your face, your temple, your forehead, even your eyes. Slowly open your eyes, blink into the darkness, get your eyes used to the light, and remove your hands. 
Thank you very much for the practice this morning again. Good job, guys. This was a hard session. Hopefully no one's at the hospital now after this. Thank you very much again. Enjoy the day. Namaste. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. So let us know again how easy, how hard it was. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And otherwise, Barbara will be at some point. Yeah. We'll keep you updated. And uh, yeah, thank you again for tuning in, Yogis. Have a nice day. See you later. Any <laughs> later.